This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents What an exciting Thanksgiving. Common Eisen is dead. Common Eisen is alive. We have no idea. Is Common Eisen dead? Is Common Eisen alive? Well, the ESA is still saying that Eisen is dead and disintegrated, but Eisen has survived. Eisen is alive. And now, what the fudge nipples is that behind following Common Eisen? What the heck is that giant thing following Common Eisen? Looks like a giant Snoopy? Oh my god, what if it is the ghost of every turkey killed on Thanksgiving coming back to eat planet Earth? Then we are all screwed. We're gonna be crapped out of some giant cosmic angry turkey from space outer deep. That's what she said. Never! Alright, as we can see, Comet Ison comes in, and it definitely looks like some part of Comet Ison has come out. I'm sure the nucleus is not as large as it was. Some of the dirty snowball angel, duck dragon, has melted off. Sure, but see you fly by the sun, do better. But it looks like Icarus Grey has lived to fly another day. I have not been able to do this quest all by myself. There have been a lot of people along the way who have sent me great information, great data, great photographs, great designs. Um, I want to thank all those people. Over at the GLP, I just got this footage of Ison looking like she has definitely survived. Man, that is a cool ass orbit, but ESA is still saying she's dead. I'm guessing some part of her stayed alive. And now the question is, how big is that part that's still alive? That is the big question. In some of these graphics, Ison looks huge. Comma of the century, give me some sugar, baby. As we're looking over the stereo head HI1 footage of Ison's passage past Mercury and Earth, I've got to ask, WTF is that behind Comet Ison? What the fudge nipples? And I'm just asking, because some people had said, Blue Kachina, Red Kachina, or that Ison might just be leading whatever's coming. Could be large. And so... When we're watching the stereo head one, the very latest footage they're giving us, as Ison goes off the screen, something ginormous enters the frame. And on the what planets are visible, it does not show that as a planet. Maybe it's a lens flare. Maybe it's Nibiru. Maybe it's Herculubus. Herculubus? Hercules, Hercules. Maybe it's a spaceship. Uh, maybe it's a giant space chicken. Maybe it's a giant space duck. We'll have to check in the next few hours when it gets on the frame to see if it walks like a space duck, talks like a space duck, flies like a space duck, or maybe it's just a giant dirty snowball. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe I'm crazy and I'm imagining it. Well, dang, then my imagination is powerful. That is one magical lens artifact that looks like a dinosaur, a cute dinosaur, like Barney. Maybe Barney has been flying in space. Early on in the space program, they wanted to send monkeys into space, so maybe they sent purple dinosaurs into space. I don't know. But I am very curious. What is that? Shouldn't we be able to see it from Earth? Nope, sun's up. Okay, somebody let me know. What is that giant thing behind us? That is what is great about having your own YouTube channel is you can ask questions and people will answer them. Maybe it's the dinosaur galaxy or the galaxy of women galaxy. That is exciting. I will compile more of the data. Get you all the beautiful stuff very soon. I just wanted to ask. Oh my God, what the hell is that behind Comet Ison? You know, I'm sure it's the droopy galaxy. I'm sure it's the Pluto galaxy, you know, the... The dog, not the demoted planet. Or it's something, swamp gas, butt artifacts, asteroid, machismo. I don't know, man. Just curious, putting that out there. All right, God bless. We're going to stay tuned. And seeing as how uh, I'm going to be doing like two-minute videos all day, you should be getting an update on the hour, every other hour, something like that. All right, now back to compiling all the data. Yeah. Bubba, how do you feel about Comet Ice being dead? Oh. Paul of Sympathy. You keep bubble. You good dog. You good puppy. If you are.